here we go again, uh, setting off from Longlands and well we're definitely heading up to Trusmador um, we're going to take a look at the uh, what's left of the wreckage of a, of a plane on the way hopefully we'll take that in if I can find it apparently it's piled up against the wall somewhere but uh, not too far from where we are now um, probably go up Meal Fell or Meals Fell should I say and um, after that probably up on Great Scar Fell and then come down by a load of other fells but we'll see how we get on um, the main point of this is to go and have a look at Trusmador which I've never been to which is um, described as the perfect call so that's really all we're doing today it's just a wee walk with the dog really and so I have my usual companion with me an old fella scout who is having a bit of a trump about there we've looked for the uh, wreckage of the crashed aeroplane but uh, if there's anything there I can't find it uh, and it's pretty marshy around there as well I went right along the wall up as far as the fence and uh, haven't been able to find a thing so if there was any it's uh, long since gone so we're going to head up to Trusmador and uh, meals fell so we'll see you at Trusmador so if you're coming there uh, looking for aeroplanes and stuff there's an out there just to let you know so just a little bit about the path that we're walking on as you can see it's quite distinct um, that's Trusmador over in the distance there so that's where we're headed and then we'll go on to Meals come on you hey Boogaloo, come on so yeah so it's fairly distinct at the moment um, uh, the path divides somewhere along here but uh, we just stick to the lower one and then we uh, join another path but so far fairly straightforward this um, yeah. a nice little valley I have to say, River Ellen in the bottom that's quite dramatic until uh, cuts in there and of course we've got uh, over water is it over water? something like that uh, in the distance there so yeah it's a nice evening for a walk as well a little bit of wind not much whoops uh, watch your step along here <laughs> yeah. so yeah so far um, quite a nice walk no aircraft to be seen as I say um, whether that's some sort of joke on uh, Wainwright's part but uh, it definitely wasn't there so like I say I'm just going to head up to Trusmador now anything along the way and I'll uh, let you know about it so for the moment I'll see you later. Oops, sorry sir and, uh, a little stream um, which joins the Ellen and as you can see there's a there's a sheepfold here, a ruined sheepfold what looks like a sheepfold anyways um, the path actually should go over there but uh, I can see that it's been worn up here so I'm just going to follow that and uh, see how we come on with that it doesn't look like it follows the course um, on the Ordnance Survey map so Across this, this is a good opportunity for Scout to have a drink. Do you want a drink, son? Yeah? Want to drink of water? Lovely, yes. Oops. Yeah. Do a drink? Yeah. Don't want a drink? Looks like nice water there. Full of lead and other minerals. <laughs> Lovely, lovely clean water. Do you want to drink some? Yeah. 
Come on. Give me a drink. There you go, sir. There you go, my boy. Yeah. Come on in. Let's uh, get ourselves up here. It's getting late now. I haven't brought my watch with me. Oh my god. Oh my giddy hand. I left it on the in the bathroom this morning, didn't I, kid? So let's just cross that little bit of river there. As you can see, the uh, sheepfold is quite distinct with that stone in the uh, in the corner there. And uh, you can see the kind of see the line of the path that we've came across. Fairly straightforward stuff. So onwards and upwards and uh, unless there's anything else on the way next time you'll hear from me then we get a good sight of trust my door so bye for now we're just uh, following this path which uh, was pretty distinct um, and it's 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 not the path that's on the ordnance survey um, it comes in between these uh, like this escarpment here and uh, this what looks like glacial moran to me it's, uh, but yeah this is where we're heading and the path looks to just swing around here and uh, and then up into Trusmador so like I say it's a very distinctive path but not the one that's on the Ordnance Survey Hey, right, come on boy. Good boy. You've got a sniff of summer, haven't you? Hey, <laughs> yeah, there's a dog. There's something wrong in your head, boy, I tell you. <laughs> there is. Something wrong in your head. So, here we are, trust my door, we're almost there now. Um, it's funny, on, in Rainwright's book, he talks about birds of prey. And, er... Uh, there was a lot of crows which seem to have disappeared now actually which is a bit of a strange thing and I did see one or two birds of prey buzzards I would say looking uh, kicking about uh, so we'll try and keep our eyes open for them they seem to have disappeared as soon as I turned the camera on typically there's a lot of sheep of prey yeah, looking to ambush us but, uh, but other than that Nice, quite nice actually. Quite nice. Quite a, quite a nice call. So, the path that we took just uh, snaked around from that moran. It's not the one that you can actually see down there. Uh, it comes through there, uh, through the, the gap there. And uh, yeah, quite an easy path. Gets a little steeper as you get to here, obviously. Um, so I've been sweating a little bit, but mainly because it's just such a such a warm day. So we're going to plod up here, and then when we turn off to uh, Meals Fell, um, I'll let you know what the crack is then. So just for door. That's where we're at at the moment. Just for door. Trust me, door. Huge pile of stones here. Um, you won't be able to miss that, I wouldn't have thought. The path looks as if it's um, this one here. Uh, Rainwright talks about going over into to where the stream is there, but I'm just going to follow this one up here onto the summit, and then we're going to nip over to Great Scarfell. Um, and from there, hopefully, we'll catch a few other summits on the way down. But, uh, it's lovely in it in this valley well in this call should I say and they talk about it being the perfect call and it sure it is it's lovely so we're going to sit down and have a quick um, just a quick bite to eat me and scout a couple of bits of beef or something for the dog with it being a Sunday and then uh, and then we'll uh, proceed on our way
snack, trust me door. Um, and now we're just going to head up onto Meal Fell. And uh, the path just bears left at the uh, cairn at Trust Medor, um, or the path that I'm taking anyway, fairly straight forward. Obviously it starts to get a bit steeper here, but uh, I'm just going to head up here. There's a choice here, I assume this one's a nice circumference round and that one's straight up. We'll just check this one. For no other reason than it's the uh, the most prominent. And a nice view of Skidor, Big Stall, Dead Crags, and just peeping over. Uh, I don't know what that uh, one in the foreground is, but. Uh, Yes, and uh, broad end of course, yeah, very nice, oh, that's a great a nice view of uh, Trust My Dad as well, so yeah, as you start to go up, the views are starting to open up, and it's, uh, it's a nice little walk really, um, Nothing too strenuous so far. Had a bit of a mess about with the dog while I was having me uh, having a bag of crisps and a drink of water. That's all I had like. But he had some beef and a treat. Uh, come away from there, son. Good boy. So yeah, this path um, fairly straightforward. Maybe one in three, the most. Catch you later. Wind's getting up a bit now, of course. So, but uh, we'll catch you here once we're on the summit of uh, Meal Fell. A bit windy in this gap here. So we've uh, come to an intersection in the pass, and we've headed left, which looks like it's going to take us up to the summit. There's a cairn up there as well, which is obviously marking something. So. We'll uh, head up towards that and then up to the summit, which you can see there. And once there, we'll uh, have another crack with you. Shelter, son. Come on. Come on. Push. Yeah. Good boy. There we go. Somebody's dropped a tomato. Find that. In the uh, shelter, uh, which looked like a cairn from where, from the path. Um, in the shelter on. Uh, Meal fell. Um, we're going to be heading on to. I don't know if you can hear us for the wind here, but uh, we're going to be heading on to Great Scar Fell, which is that uh, round hill there. We'll then be going on to uh, Little Scar Fell, and then on to. Oh, I can't remember that one. But anyway, we're going we're heading back down to Long Hills anyway. Uh, views from here, pretty nice, especially out towards Binsey there. And uh, the Solway, see it's pretty lovely and it's a nice evening, it's about half seven at night so it's starting to look really nice. But uh, we're going to crack on because it is starting to get quite late and she's going to be down by nine so lovely isn't it? Absolutely lovely and a great view of um, Skidor from here. Um, Skidor little man just poking its head above uh, this, whatever this is. Broad uh, end of Bake Stall there. I really like Bake Stall, that's a nice walk. And of course, Dead Crags.
pools on here as well. Not that I'd go swimming in them, but there you go. So, So oh, here we are, we're on the uh, Great Scar Fell. Uh, not much here, you know, it's pretty flat and not very interesting at all. Uh, I would say that's uh, not just there. Um, view wise, obviously, we've still got uh, Skiddo there. I'll just uh, show you the route that we came up. As, uh, come on, hey, come on. Um, like I say, there isn't really much to see on the way up. Um, there's some rocks just by the path, just to the left of the path as you're coming up. So, yeah, to the left of the path as you're coming up. And uh, to be quite honest, I think somebody should bring these up here, or bring them up here, should I say, and uh, make something of a cairn, or a shelter, or anything just to make this summit a bit more uh, interesting but uh, I'm assured that Little Scarfell is a bit more interesting it certainly looks it looks that over there um, so just come to the edge of the uh, summit here it's, uh, it's one of those paths up here from Meal Fell that is like um, you lose a lot of height coming off Meal Fell as you can see now that's it um, with the scrubby top that's meal fell and uh, you lose a lot of height coming off there and then you've got a 45 degree climb up here which just seems to go on forever there's a path goes off to the left which goes into the col here between great mel uh, great scar fell and um, little scar fell and to be quite honest it was it was quite tempting just to take that path views wise from here heading west you've got uh, Bass and Sweet in the distance there um, Overwater, Binzi and of course the Solway Firth as well and uh, apart from that there's not really a lot else to see you can see the line of fells which I'll be taking on the way down and uh, yeah that's it really so we're gonna we're going to push on and um, we'll be, next summit will be Little Scarfell which will probably do some uh, crack mid and, uh, and then uh, we'll head down by uh, a few lumps and bumps. So that's uh, Great Scarfell, not to be confused with Scarfell Pike of course, which is a lot more uh, interesting than this it has to be said. Come on! Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Scout's loving it though, aren't you, kid? Yay! Yes, he is. He's loving it. <coughs> so, from Great Scarfell, and I hope that rain doesn't come in our way. Please. The wind's blowing that way, mind. So, um, from this, this summit, we'll be uh, heading off left to Little Scarfell. See you there. We are on uh, Little Scarfell and as you can see there's a there's a bigger cairn on here and a uh, shelter and it's only a hop skip and a jump from Great uh, Scarfell. In fact we ran down off uh, off uh, Great Scarfell. It's just one of those uh, those inclines that uh, just make you want to run. But like I say, just a hop, skip, and a jump. And our route, well, we're not going. That's break down there. We're going to uh, Longthwaite and Longlands Fell on the way down, which will take us down to the main path. Um, especially if we come off the side of uh, uh, Longlands, uh, yeah, Longlands Fell. So we'll see what the paths are when we get there. Uh, there's nothing marked on the map. Um, 
prefer to come off the uh, left hand side of it which will just take us pretty much back down the car but we'll see when we get there let's wait for Phil and uh, nothing here maybe the smallest cane in the Lake District if indeed that's what that is I don't know if you can see that but, uh, nothing else here, the path um, I actually came off the main path and uh, headed for the summit. There is a path that comes that heads this way, so if you want to take in this summit, just uh, bear left um, off the main path, which takes you takes you past this summit. I don't know if it takes you on to Longlands Fell or not, but uh, that's Longland Fell, Longlands Fell there, and that's our next uh, our next summit. Lovely evening, as, as you can see. Uh, I used to have the wind back actually when I was coming down off um, what do you call it? Uh, a little scar fell. Uh, we lost the wind for a while, and uh, as I put my jumper on, I was starting to feel the heat a bit. But uh, now we've got the breeze back. It's a whole lot better. So, yes. Um, Stop. Oh, it's fell. path coming down here um, becomes quite distinct in that it's in a little uh, a little gully so and as you can see uh, the village is well in view now so uh, ordnance survey wise um, I think that little bump there is called Thwaite so that's another point of reference there so anyway uh, that's the last you'll hear of me um, on uh, this walk anyway and uh, hope to see you again soon so take care